What's going on guys? Welcome to day two of Cutting for Summer series here. Um, I just left the gym. I was training some clients. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm a personal trainer, independent personal trainer. Uh, I like to call myself a private personal trainer just because um, I'm very exclusive and whatnot. I try to keep a certain quality of clientele. But anyways, guys, we're headed home uh, to eat some breakfast, prep some meals. Today, I'm gonna be having a lot, again, of white rice, and we're gonna be doing 96% lean beef from Trader Joe's, so stay tuned so you guys can see how I cook it. All right, guys, so for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Fresh Market got amazing chicken every Tuesday for $2.99 a pound. So if you're not about that steroid life like me, then you should definitely try out Fresh Market if you have one around your area because the chicken is pretty good. No hormones, no GMO, no steroids, no nothing. So just gotta stay natty, bruh. And also every time I come here, I always like to get grab a kombucha. So today I'm gonna go with the ginger ale one. I love this. Okay guys, as you guys just saw right now, I got myself a bunch of chicken breast. Um, like I said, I love, I love to come here on Tuesdays because I call it Chicken Tuesdays at Fresh Market and they ran out of paper bags. Guys, if you use plastic bags a lot, please stop using them. As a matter of fact, they ran out of paper bags, but if anything, I would have gotten a paper bag. But the fact that they were out of paper bags, I had to get myself another one of these baggies, which I think I have like 12 of these at home. So yeah, guys, try to do a change. Um, this is just gonna benefit us in the long run. So it's not gonna kill us. Let's go. Okay, guys, so once again, we're here in the kitchen. Day number two, I'm gonna prep my breakfast. A little bit earlier today, it's around 9.30 at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and prep four egg whites, one egg whole, and then we're gonna do one whole avocado Actually, fuck, I didn't buy Ezekiel bread. I should, uh, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm just gonna do three egg whites, one egg whole. So that's gonna be four eggs total. And then I'm just gonna do, hmm, fuck. I'm just gonna do like half a cup of oats with half a scoop of protein. That's what I'll do. So let's go. Okay, so we got three egg whites, one whole egg, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and prep some oats with half scoop of protein and um, one tablespoon of almond butter in it. Okay guys, so this is what we got. We got um, actually three fourths of a cup of oats right there with half scoop of protein. And uh, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of almond butter. And then we got the three egg whites, one egg. So yeah, let's grub. Okay guys, so now we're gonna prep meal number two and meal number three actually and that's going to be just white rice uh we're probably going to be doing like a cup and a half to be honest uh because i'm going to be busy this afternoon so uh, i'm going to go ahead and prep some 96 percent beef um and yeah prep two meals like that and that's it i'm going to show you guys what i usually put on my beef when i cook it and how i cook it so stay tuned okay guys so as always we got some coconut oil spray here spread a little bit around just a tad bit we're gonna go ahead and add this beef right there. Oops. Take that shit off. Now we're going to add some adobo seasoning, which is my freaking favorite for absolutely everything that I do, honestly. <laughs> now, before we keep going with the seasoning, we're actually gonna go ahead and just spread this all over the pan. Okay, once it's spread all over, then we can go ahead and start seasoning. We're also gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. Some regular pink salt. Now we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. 
All right, guys, so now we got here the Tupperware, always glass Tupperware, or at least I tried to always have a glass Tupperware. Uh, we have it here in uh, five ounces of 96% lean beef. So let's see how long is it gonna take. That's three and a half. That's 4.3. There we go, five ounces. So as you guys already know, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some white rice that I already have cooked here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw everything that is in here on the pan. We'll see how much that weighs. Okay, so I just put all the rice on the Tupperware and it gave me 206 grams, so we're good. All right, guys, we just came to Best Buy right now. We're going to buy a little tripod for the phone because it's super annoying to film in the gym just with putting my phone on the uh, or camera on anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get a tripod and get better, better angles. <laughs> Damn. All right, boys, I just bought a little tripod for my phone. Damn, it even feels a lot better even when I'm driving. So this is a great thing. All right, guys, right now we're going to head over to the gym. This gym is a local gym by my grandma's. I'm gonna go visit my grandma and my mom in a little bit. So this gym is in Tamarack, Florida. It's called University Fitness. And the reason why I love this gym is because the only gym that I've been to down in South Florida that is very, very old school. So you guys will check out some uh, chess equipment and stay tuned for the solid pump that we're about to have. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little physique update here and I'm gonna show you guys how I look after two meals. The last meal I had was about two hours ago, but we're gonna get this workout started. So this is how I look right now. Hopefully the lighting is good guys. All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a little voice over here for this workout part of the video. We started out this chest day with incline presses. Honestly, guys, you can use any incline press that you want. It can be in a Smith machine. It could be on an incline bench press, free weights. It could be on an actual machine. Just make sure you start out with an incline press. So in that way we can pump blood into the upper chest and make sure the rest of our exercises are more focused on the upper chest. This was a super set with pec flies and this one guys you always want to make sure you drive through your elbows and keep a slight bend in your elbows so you keep your joints healthy make sure that once you get at the top you flex really hard as you can see in that rep it's just one little second at the top where you're actually contracting your pecs together and a quick tip is mentally think about bringing your elbows in at the very top you're not really doing it physically but mentally bring your elbows in so you can connect with your inner chest second superset was flat bench press again guys in this gym that i went to yesterday i actually end up hitting all these machines that i don't really get to use in a regular at my local gym so we just went at it here for a few reps same deal making sure that we keep our elbows under the bar making sure that you keep your chest nice and high, elevated, and good solid contraction at the very top. We went from here, superset to an incline dumbbell fly. And this one, guys, you wanna make sure, since you're in an incline, I like to kind of tuck in my head a little bit, as you guys can see. So when I get to the top, I like to feel my chest against my chin in a way. I'm not that big, but at least, um, I try to connect very well mentally because guys, this is all about connecting mentally with your muscles. If you're not connecting well in any of your exercises, you're not going to see the best results. Third superset, we hit cable crossovers high to low. I was trying to position myself really well here. Um, Again, driving through your elbows, guys, making sure you keep your chest nice and out elevated. Leave those shoulders back there. I know you may see my shoulders rolling a little forward, but that's fine. For me, it's a little bit different than the average people. Um, of course, I have a little more muscle than any 
average person so i can modify things a little bit but at the very bottom guys make sure you squeeze and make sure you're finding your inner chest with your mind first and then feel it physically quick superset here with dumbbell close grip presses this is for your inner chest guys this one is one of my favorite ones i like to hit it on an incline so whenever you're wearing like a scoop neck or a tank top or a v-neck your upper chest is nice and pumped in the inner chest and for this one make sure guys you're squeezing the dumbbell through your palms and pressing with your palms no fingers next exercise was modified dips for lower chest on this one guys as you can see i'm not locking my elbows at the very bottom i'm making sure i keep my tension in my lower chest as i press i constantly keep on thinking about my bottom chest pretty much overall chest i can say and this one right here guys if you've never tried it please start incorporating this one in your workouts we superseted the modified dips with this dumbbell pullover for this one, you wanna make sure you position yourself correctly. Try to drop your hips a little bit. Have your upper back against the pad. And as you drive here, make sure you're driving through your elbows at the top, flexing really hard your chest. And make sure you're not using so much of your fingers and mainly your palms. Your palms connected through your elbows, elbows all the way to the top, flex really hard. Again, try to find that inner chest at the very top. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, we're almost done with this workout. I want to finish it off with some incline dumbbell presses, even though we already covered some inclines. Pump's been all right today. I feel really low in energy. But uh, we're going to go ahead and film some finishers here, incline dumbbell presses, so stay tuned. The last exercise we did, we finished it off with some incline dumbbell presses. I always like to start my chest workouts with incline presses and finish them off with incline presses, just a different type. So in this case, we did a big double drop set of incline dumbbell presses. First set was 65 pounds. First drop was 45 pounds actually. So I dropped 20 pounds. And then from those 20 pounds, I went down only 10 pounds. So it was 65, 45 and 35 pounds. As you guys can see here, I'm keeping my chest nice and high same deal keep the chest high tucking in my chin a little bit so mentally i'm feeling my upper chest against my chin and then we're just going here for reps 10 reps each one as you guys saw first one was very controlled and this last one was just pumping okay guys that was a killer set so we're gonna do that three more times let's go All right, guys, we just got done with cardio. I'm gonna go change, go visit the grandma and mom, go eat, I'm starving. So day one of cardio in the books, so let's go. All right, guys, we're here with my mom. I'm eating here. Not with a spoon, please. All right, I'm eating here some uh, chicken and rice. I just hit it up in the pan back there. My mom making some company here, and I got a cutie as well, so, and it'll all be tracked. All right, what up guys? It's currently around 7.30 p.m. right now. I'm gonna go ahead and prep a shake. This shake is going to be two scoops of protein, one banana, 100 grams of spinach, and a cup of almond milk. And we're gonna add just a little bit of chia seeds in there. So stay tuned so you guys can see how I make it. 